there. Uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, continue on now. Um, the Gospel of Thomas. So some excerpt, excerpts. 24.1 Show us the place where you are, for we, we must seek it. Seek it, too. He said to them, Whoever has ears should hear. 3. There is light within a person of light, and it shines on the whole world. If it does not shine, it is dark. 25.1 Jesus said, Love your sibling like your soul. 2. Protect that person like the pupil of your eye. 26. Jesus said, You see the speck that is in your sibling's eye, but do not see the beam that is in your, your own eye. 3. Jesus said, A prophet is not acceptable in one's own prophet's, prophet's own town. A doctor does not heal those who know the doctor. Isn't that funny? 39. Jesus said, The Pharisees and scholars have taken the keys of knowledge, the keys of knowledge, and hidden them. They have not entered, nor have they allowed those who want to enter to do so. 3. As for you, be as shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. I like that one. 46. Jesus said from Adam to John the baptizer, those among those born of women, there is no one greater than John the baptizer, so that his eyes be not averted. But I have said to you that whomever among you becomes a child will know the kingdom and will come greater than John and will become greater than John. 49. So let, do you understand that? Maybe let's read it again a little bit. He says, there is no one greater than John the baptizers. But whoever among you becomes a child will know the kingdom and become greater than John. Interesting. 49. Blessed are those who alone and chosen for you will find the kingdom, for you have come from it and will return there again. Blessed are those who are alone and chosen, for you will find the kingdom, for you have come out of it and will return there again. 92. Seek and ye shall find. 93. Do not give what is holy to dogs, or they might throw them upon the manure. Do not throw pearls before swine, or they might make mud of it. 105. Jesus said, Whoever knows the father and the mother will be called the child of a whore. That one, I'm not quite sure. I believe it is referring to the way the um, that Mary was called a whore. And so they don't usually, his, the children were never recognized. I believe it's in reference to that, but I'm not certain. 106. Jesus said, when you make the two into one, you will become children of humanity. And when you say mountain, move from here, it will move. Then we move on to the Gospel of Philip, at page 176. Adam's soul came from a breath. The soul's companion is spirit given to him by his mother. His soul was taken from him and replaced with spirit. When he was invited, united with the spirit, he uttered words superior to the powers, and the powers envied him. They separated him from his spiritual companion. And then dot, 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 hidden bride chamber. <clears throat> Jesus revealed himself at the Jordan River as the fullness of heaven, heaven's kingdom. The one conceived before all was conceived again, and the one anointed before was anointed again. The one redeemed, redeemed others. So that's when he gets baptized, traditionally around this time, I understand. It is necessary, and then seven, uh, 70, uh, page 70, 315. It is necessary to utter a mystery. The father of the all united with the virgin who came down and fire shone on him. On that day, that one revealed the great bride chamber and in this way, his body came into being. On that day, he came forth from the bride chamber as one born of a bridegroom and a bride. So Jesus established all within it 
and it is fitting for each of the disciples to enter into his rest. Then 71. Adam came from two virgins, the spirit and the earth virgin. Virgin earth, sorry. Christ was born of a virgin to correct the fall that occurred in the beginning. 71, 22. There are two trees in paradise. One produces animals and the other produces people. Adam ate of the tree that produces animals and he became an animal and brought forth animals. As a result, Adam, uh, wait a second, he became an animal? Shapeshifter? That's weird. As, he, as a result, Adam's children worshipped animals. He became a uh, husbandry, if I recall. The tree whose fruit he ate is the tree of knowledge, and because of, his, because of this, sins increased. If he had eaten of the tree of life, which pr fruit produces people, gods would worship, says in quote, would worship people that created God. So also in this world, people make gods and worship what they have created. It would be more fitting for gods to worship people. And I have in brackets, Achilles, the tree of good and evil. So there's the tree of life, and then there's the tree. Well, what is it called there? What do they call it? It doesn't say what they call it. It just says that it produced animals. Tree of knowledge. There it is. Tree of knowledge and the tree of life. Dot, dot, dot. Archons. The Nature of the Rulers, page 192. Quote, the rulers plotted together and said, Come, let us make a deep sleep fall on, upon Adam. So Adam slept. The deep sleep was one of ignorance. When they cut open his side, and dot, 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 like a living woman, then they repaired his side with flesh in place of her. Capital H, H-E-R, uh, bracket, spirit, and Adam had only a soul. The woman of spirit came to him and spoke to him, saying, Arise, Adam. When he saw her, he said, You have given me life. You will be called the mother of the living all. Lo mother of the living I all. For she is my mother. She is physician, woman, one who has given birth. The authorities approached Adam. When they, they saw his female partner, they aroused and lusted after her. They said, come, let us ejaculate our semen in her. And they chased her, but she laughed because of their foolish blindness. They caught her, but she turned into a tree and left a shadow of herself that looked exactly like her. And they defiled it sexually. They defiled the seal of her voice, so they convinced themselves of their, and the quotations of their actions were right. Then the female spiritual presence came in the shape of a serpent, the instructor. The serpent taught Adam and Eve and said, What did Samuel say to you? You may eat of every tree in the garden, but do not eat of the tree of knowledge of God of good and evil. The woman of the shadow flash said, Not only did he say so, but also did not touch it. For the day you eat from it, you shall surely die. The serpent, the instructor, said, You will surely not die, for he said this to you out of jealousy. Rather, your eyes will open, and you will be like gods, knowing good and evil. And the spirit left the serpent, and it became as one of the creatures of the earth. Dot, dot, dot. Page 212. Before Adam of light made his return, the authorities saw him in chaos. So the chief creator of them said, If you do not want him to run, ruin our work, let us create a human out of the earth in his likeness to serve us, and we shall make his children our slaves. So the archons rape the shadow, or the other, um, she says a shadow, but some other form of his wife. And then they just convince themselves that it's okay to do that. <clears throat> All this happened in accordance with Pistis's forethought. So humanity would be made in this likeness and condemn the authorities because of their mottled bodies. Sophia Zoe, who is Zabioth, 
anticipated them and laughed, for they did not know what they were doing. She created her own human being first, so that he might be able to tell the modeled bodies of the authorities how to despise them and escape them. Sophia Zoe is not exactly the same thing as Sophia by herself. But let's just move on. The birth of the instructor happened like this. When Sophia let a drop of light fall upon the water, there appeared an androgynous human. Then she made it into a female. Then she took the body and gave it the shape like the mother. And it says hermaphrodite, but I don't know what that is. Like the mother, that's what it's saying, hermaphrodite. The Hebrews called the child's mother Eve of life, which later the Archon's authorities called the beast, so it might lead their model bodies astray. So this being became the instructor, wisest of all creatures. And they're saying that Eve was hermaphrodite. The Song of Eve, see, Thunder of the Perfect Mind. Sophia sent Zoe, called Eve, as an instructor to Adam, and she breathed into him, and by the word of Eve, Adam stood up from the ground so the children would be vessels of light. All this is a roundabout way of saying Sophia went into Zoe or Eve and they brought Adam back to life. They brought life to him. Page 21, Origin of the World. The light will cover, the light will overcome the darkness. The darkness will be like something that never existed, that never was, and the source of darkness dissolved. Deficiency will be pulled out by its root and cast down into darkness, and the light will withdraw into its root. All must return to the place whence they came. By what they do and what they know, all of them will reveal their nature. The heavens of the gods of chaos will collapse upon one another, and their power will be consumed and their realms overthrown. The chief creator's heaven will fall and the split in half. His stars and spheres will fall down to earth. I think it says, yeah, 220. Pistis Sophia will drive out the gods of chaos whom she had created along with the chief creator and will cast them down into the abyss. They will be wiped out through their own injustice. And that's not truly really true. She did not create them. Yaldabaoth created them from her light. And then I don't know if we want to read about the book of, G of, of Judas, but it's here. Let's read it. Book of Judas, Thomas, page 239. The Savior said, while you are still in the world, listen to me, and I shall reveal what you have thought in thought about in your heart. Since it is said you are my twin brother and friend, since you are called my brother, you have seen what is hidden from people, what they stumble against in their ignorance. Thomas, when light comes and banishes darkness, then the accomplishment of each person will be clear. Then from the book of the Great Invisible Spirit, page 261, 5,000 5, years later, the luminary Elas said, Let some reign over, someone reign over chaos in Hades. A cloud named Sophia of Matter appeared. She surveyed the regions of chaos, and her face looked like the appearance of blood. The angel Gamaliel spoke to Gabriel and said, Let an angel reign over the chaos in Hades. The cloud agreed and produced two individuals, a little light, Sakla, and Nebrel, the, the great demon. They brought a spirit to the earth and produced angelic assistance. Sakla said to Nebrel, let twelve realms come into being in the realm worlds. And they are the same ones uh, that um, Yaldabaoth mentioned in the same orders. In the same order. <clears throat> and, okay, we'll just read it. Athoth, Harmas. Oh, no, they are different. Galiel, Yobiel, Adonias, Cain, Abel. Kepresina, Yubiel, Harmo, Ael, Archir, and Belias. 
And these are set over Hades. <clears throat> And page 310, 144 to 146, Mary asked, Of what kind is the mustard seed? Is it from earth or heaven? The master said, When the father established the world for himself, he, he left many things with the mother of the all. That is why he sows and works. Judas said, You have told, this, told us this from the mind of truth. When we pray, how should we pray? The master said, Pray in the place where there is no woman lust. Matthew says, He tells us to pray where there is no woman, which means destroy the works of the female, not because there is another form of birth, but because they should stop giving birth. This is complete bullshit. People that talk about the Gnostics not wanting to give birth, it's not about that. He wasn't talking about that at all. He was talking about not being lustful and forcing yourself and having those kinds of thoughts which distract you from your spiritual path. This is, oh, yeah, I explained that too. Mary says, Will they never be destroyed? referring to the archons, the works of archons. Master says, no, they will perish, and the works of the archons will be destroyed. And then from the thunder of the perfect mind, just part of it, it's pretty long, <clears throat> page 388, she has found her rising. She has come to rest in the one who is at rest. She has reclined in the bridal chamber. She has eaten of the banquet for which she has hungered. She has partaken of a mortal food. She has found what she has sought. She has received rest from her labors, and the light shining on her does not set. To the light belongs the glory and the power and revelation forever and ever. Amen. And then from one from page 435, I found this was very interesting. The great demon judges human souls. What is it they do not know or believe? Listen, Ashlep Ashlepius, there is a great demon that the supreme God has appointed as overseer and judge of human souls, the dragon of the outer darkness. God placed him in the middle of the air between earth and heaven. When a soul comes from a body and must meet this demon, and at once the demon will turn the person around and examine them with regard to the character he developed during his lifetime. If the demon finds the person accomplished all his deeds in a goodly manner, de deeds for which he came into the world for, the demon will let him go onto the Virgin of Light. But if the demon observes and becomes angry at the person who spent his life doing evil or wrong deeds, he grabs them on his way up and throws him back down so that he is suspended between heaven and earth and is punished severely, devoured and chastised. Then he, or chastised, then devoured. There will be no hope for such a soul and it will be in great pain. It goes into far more greater detail in the book of Mr. Sophia. And I'm going to end that there. Uh, there's, there's quite a bit more stuff, a few more pages anyway. Um, so just to, a word about the whole thing. Um, it talks about how Yaldabaoth created the Archons and 365 angels. And, and it looks as though he's, he's pretending to be God, the real God. And all of his works are all copies or mimicking what he has seen in elsewhere. So it is my belief that the luminaries were sent here to help us who have been trapped here. Our souls have been trapped here and by the Vatican as well. But so I'm not saying that there isn't a real God and that God doesn't exist and that God is Yaldabaoth. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that Yaldabaoth is copying the real thing. Okay. Thank you for that. And have a great day.